Good day, human Latiosites. So this is Latios Azuru, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sword. Here we are at the Crown Tundra. Last time we did another Dynamax adventure at the Max Lair. Hey there, Cub Fu. This time, I guess we're going to go head inside of these ruins. Hmm, there's something written on the door. A giant rock, a giant ice, a giant steel. And gather the three giants. The door of destiny shall be open. Alright, so... We clearly need to, uh... Have three giants on our team. So... I'm guessing they mean the Reggies. So I guess it's a little bit like... Um... A bit like in the OG games. <laughs> Well, we're, uh, or at least in Sinnoh, where you need the three Reggies to get Reggie Gigas. We're going to need these three Reggies in order to get uh, whatever is in here. So, I'm sorry, Cub Fu. Um... Let's add them to our party. Here we go. Hey there, Registeel. Metal. Alright. Giant rock, a giant ice, and giant steel. We gather three giants, the door of destiny shall be open. Alright, there we go. Ooh, they can walk with us. That's actually kind of cool. Red ice just floats. That is hilarious. Regirock. Regirock is so slow. <laughs> Registeel is also so slow. Wow. Okay. That being said, let's let's get our team back. All right. So all we needed was the three Reggies, and with that, we're able to now head inside. This one, this, this is a bit different. So, the huge Pokemon statue is looking down at us. Alright, so... Um... Are we supposed to, like, choose, uh... What did I just do? Something changed in the air. Alright. Alright, let's go take something on. The draconic powers emanating from the statue. Sure, let's check it out. Wait a minute, dragon pattern. So... It looks like once you check this, you won't be able to reset the switches on the floor. Okay, let's go. Here we go. So I guess you can't change your mind afterwards. So I guess, interesting. So you can choose one. So this is for both Reggies. Interesting. That thing floats. Huh. Interesting. All right, quick fall time. We just got it in a quick fall. We got it in a quick fall. Wow. All right. All right. All right. Big overture for a relatively short show. 
But with that, we got ourselves Reggie Drago. So, an academic theory proposes that Reggie Drago's arms were once the head of an ancient dragon Pokemon. The theory remains unproven. The Dragon Orb Pokemon. Alright, so, what can we name you? <gasps> Oops. Whatever. That's fine. Let's see, you have... Uh, admitted- so, powers up dragon moves. Are your base attack and special attack the same? Huh. Interesting. So, I, I don't know what to think. I mean, powers up dragon moves, so that could be good. I see potential. I see potential. Dragon's Maw, so it powers up dragon moves. So at least, I mean... Dragon Energy, so it's a special move. Converting its life force into power, the user attacks the opposing Pokemon. Lower the user's HP, the power, the more... Um, the lower the its power. So, kind of like um, Water Spout or uh, Eruption, but Dragon? Interesting. So, and Guaranteed Crit, so that could be some serious power. Huh. This thing could just straight up be broken. Wow. Alright, so with that we got ourselves Reggie Drago. So we jotted down the current status in the Legendary Clue 2. So, when gather the three giants, the door of destiny shall be opened. With the giant of stone, ice, and steel gathered, the door opened, and I chose a giant. Alright. So I guess that the pattern you choose would give you your, uh, would give you the particular Reggie, so I guess the other one, so if you went, like, on the diagonals, that would be for Reggie Eliki. So you can only get one of them. That's kind of sad. That's kind of sad, they only let you take one Reggie. Well, one of those two Reggies. So they have that whole thing where they have, like, two new Reggies, and they only let you get one of them? That's kind of messed up. Getting some wishing pieces. Pick club. Okay. Oops, sorry, Carbank. Sorry about that, Carbank. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna iron head you. I'm gonna let you live. Cause there's no way. Even if you set up a reflect, there's no way you're taking an iron head. Alright. Hey dragon, I'm gonna s I'm gonna keep my distance from you. Hello there, Riolu. Wow, okay, you're just running up at me. I love the Riolu line and all, but I'm not going to catch you because I have, I have one, so I'm just going to go. There's an Avalog in our way, and I'm just running into a Bronzong instead because, because of course I'm running into a Bronzong, why wouldn't I run into a Bronzong? I don't know. I'm kind of surprised we got the we got Reggie Drago in a uh, in a quick ball. Does it just have a better catch rate than your average Reggie? That would be my guess. So we got some feathers all around the water. I'm assuming there's going to be a bunch of Avalog in the water, just blocking our way. 
But no matter, there are raids to be explored, or at least raid dens to be explored. If for nothing else, we get the uh, all important Watts. Oh, Dalton, interesting. Interesting. All right. Let's see. What is here? Ooh, and I am the walrus. I mean, I do like Walrein. Okay, clearly we can't go any further that direction. More feathers. And this is as far as we can go this direction. Okay, that's fine. I feel like we've already gone this way. Have we been here? There is... I guess we haven't. TR for Dazzling Gleam. Rare candy, I'll take. Usually there's two hidden items on like a rock like this. Who are you? Over and under, over and under, go lyric of twigs, go all around, until we've crafted nature's crown. A wreath of twigs is what we've wound. If you give me 15 Galarica twigs, I'll leave a Galarica wreath for you. Alright, sure. Right to you, leave it to me. Over and under, over, around we go, over, under, in the snow. Here you are, a brand new wreath for you. So we got a Galaric Wreath. A wreath made from the um, from woven together Galaric twigs. Placing it on the head of a Scolarian Slowpoke makes the Pokemon very happy. Hmm. It looks very fetching on a Slowpoke. If you want me to make more, I'd be happy to. Just bring me some Galaric twigs. Alright. So... So I guess she can go make us Galarica, well, those Galarica wreaths. So I think that's kind of like, so, so you evolve Slowpoke the same way as you, into Slowking as you do into Slowbro? That's, that's not that creative. I was thinking they might give us like a, like a creative way of doing it, like, I'm not a huge fan of, like, the held item, evo like, trade evolutions, but at least it was, you know, something different when they introduced it in Gen 2, to, with the whole held item thing. But, alright, if they're gonna <laughs> just have an item you just use on a slowpoke, good for them, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. That is a sign. Alright. Oh, hi there, Spiel. And back into this cave we go. I think at this point we've probably seen most of stuff. Although, there's more evidence here, so... Huh. We're about to get attacked by a Golbat, aren't we? Let us destroy this Trollbat! Trollbat be gone! Although, I don't have one. Hmm. Ah, critical capture. Okay. Let's go. 
We caught ourselves a troll bat! Alright. Let us name you troll bat. Okay. So, troll bat, do you have a... Do you have a mark? You do not have a mark. Okay, then perpetually enjoy the box. I like Crowbat and all, but not a huge fan of the Golbat. Not a huge Golbat fan. Alright. We're getting all the evidence. Got a hard stone, cool. 98%. Ooh. Big nugget, cool. And with that, 100% of the data. Go to freezing to let Professor Sonia know. Alright. Cub Fu, you excited about that? We got all the evidence that we need. Alright. To Freezington we go! Alright, first and foremost. Let's heal up. Not that we have too much to heal up, because... Have we even really battled? We got two, we were in two, well, three battles, four battles, two of them we ran, two we got in quick balls. So yeah, craziness. Oi, oi, chief. How goes the adventure and anything to report? The legendary giants. Let's talk about, let's talk about a Regirock. Wait, you really caught Regirock from the legends? That's ultra mega brilliant, report away. Hmm, you're saying this great craggy thing is a Regirock, the giant, the rock giant? Is this just me, or does it bear a striking resemblance to our grass-type gym leader? Look at those broad, burly shoulders. This fella and Milo are a proper pair of boulders. Well, it's rocky and giant enough, I suppose. Let's call this expedition successful. Got anything else legendary you want to talk about? Let's talk about Reg Ice, because every Reg Ice is cool. Wait, you really caught Reg Ice from the Legends? That's ultra mega brilliant to report away. Hmm, you're saying this great frozen stiff thing's reg ice, the ice giant? Is it just me? Or does it look like it'd make one ultra mega dazzling chandelier? Wish I could light it up and show it to my darling knee. That aside, look how massive and mighty it is. Gives me the chills just looking at it. I don't mind saying. Well, it's icy and gianty. I'll give you that. Let's consider this expedition complete. Got anything else legendary you want to report? Sure, let's talk about Reggie Drago. Wait, you really caught Reggie Drago from the Legends? That's ultra mega brilliant to report away. Hmm, you're saying this great jagged thing is Reggie Drago, the, gi the dragon giant? Is it just me, or does it look like it'd pack a really strong pinch? It's a bit like a massive clothespin, isn't it? I'd better not go provoking it. Doubt it'd have a bit of trouble opening wide and snapping me up. I suppose I'd say that's a dragony giant. May as well call this expedition a success. Looks like we looks like you've reported all there is to report a legendary clue to and the legendary giants. Smashing! I'll mark this expedition done. So with that. But the first Pokemon hold a never changing stone when I gave my Pokemon a never stone to hold, the door opened and I found Regirock. Walked together with a living crystal of snow. When I took a cryogonal from its Pokeball and had it walk with me, the door opened and I found Reg Ice. Let's ring out with uh, the piercing note that will wake the giant of steel. When I whistled before the door, it opened and I found Registeel. When gather the three giants, door of destiny shall be opened. With the giants of stone, ice, and steel together, the door opened, and I chose a giant. In this case, Reggie Drago. Looks like that's about all the reporting you've got to report just now. Go give those other legends a nice, thorough investigating. Huh? <laughs> well, how about that, Chief? Looks like that was the last bit of the Grand Peony Adventure that I had for you. 
Woo! Now this is an occasion. What's the word? Ultra Mega Epic! Your passion for all this caught me off guard, Chief. This whole adventure thing was built out of a load of rubbish I scraped together. Even I had my doubts about the whole thing. But you, you went at it with a ton of energy. You don't suppose those Pokemon you caught were really the ones in the Legends, do you? Sure. Nah, actually, never mind. You don't have to tell me anything. A look at your face tells me everything I need to know, Chief. I can tell that you must have done some ultra mega epic exploring. And whatever you discovered on your way, that's a special treasure just for you. I'm not about to rain on your parade by being nosy and asking silly questions. Well, Chief Eric, thanks for sticking around and finishing every part of my adventure. I want you to have this. Consider it my way of saying thank you. With that, we got Peony's Rare League card. Okay. Hmm. But I can't shake the feeling I'm forgetting something. Uh, Dad? People can hear you all the way outside, you know. I'm a Darwin Nia! Huh? This place isn't bad. So this is where you're staying. Oh, hey. Eric, fancy meeting you outside the Max Lair for once. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> you're really on my wavelength. So, you actually kept my old man company. Cheers, I owe you one. I've had to... I've had my fill of Dynamax adventures now. So I thought, I may as well try one of those, what do you call them, tours my old man was going on about. Oh. Huh? What? Why'd everyone suddenly get quiet? Hold on, give me just a mo. I'll come up with some new legends straight away. You'll have your adventure, Nia. A nice father-daughter expedition, finally. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. You'll come up with legends? Also, that's way too close. I need some personal space here. Right. First things first. I've got something for you, Nia. Here. I made this brilliantly shiny explorer's outfit for you. You can get changed while I come up with something. What in the world? Are you trying to turn me into a disco ball or something? Why have, uh, why have I got to wear this golden one when yours is normal? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? You're my darling daughter. I want you to shine so bright that everyone notices you. Uh, it's things like this. I've changed my mind. Here, you can have this. Hey, but why? So with that, we got a gold expedition uniform. I'm heading back to my own adventure. Time to catch some more Dynamax Pokemon. No, come back, Nia! No need to be so rebellious. I know you all, you really love me, don't you? Uh, sorry for the sudden commotion, Chief. It was a blast exploring with you. You're free to keep using our base camp, of course. Anyway, time for me to go spend some quality time with my darling daughter. Hold on, Nia, wait for me! Alright, I guess that's the end? It says the end! <laughs> Alright, so we actually hit the end. Alright. We had three stories right there. We had the first one with the king. The second one with the birds, and... We had one with, um, the Reggies. Let's take a look at Peony's League card, actually. So, we have Peony's League card. So, Peony is a former Steel-type gym leader. His powerful and, di uh, and dynamic battle style meant that anyone stuck on, uh, stuck on pitch maintenance had their work cut out for them. To this day, he is known as Steel Peony and has many fans, especially among men. This photo act, um, is actually a composite photo made before Peony came to the Crown Tundra. It was originally a poster Peony stuck in the travel planner he made for his daughter, but she threw it away in short order. Peony liked the, uh, liked the way it looked and decided to use it for his lead card. Fair enough. Alright, let's look at the rare lead card. 
Hmm. This one looks like his, uh, his family's on it. Interesting. Though this is seldom addressed publicly, Peony is, in fact, Rose's younger brother. Hmm. Peony was compared to his brilliant older brother since he was born, causing him to gradually rebel and become a delinquent. He eventually ran away from home, only to become a gym leader once his talent was recognized. He was even champion once, but shortly afterward, Rose became league chairman. This caused Peony to vanish entirely from the league. The Caparaja on Peony's team has been there since it was a Q-Fant. It was the first Pokemon Peony caught together with his brother. Huh, his number's 82, so... Interesting, so I guess it's not a coincidence that Peony and Rose both have, like, their ace as a Caparaja. Interesting, alright, I'm on the ground. A legendary clue? A mysterious clue the peony seems to have dropped. There's a photo attached to it showing a shining uh, hole opening above the max lair. Oh, and I thought we were done. It's a strange note, like a legendary clue. I thought peony said he was out of them. A mysterious... I don't know, legend or something... Something that connects our world to another? This, I guess, phenomenon was originally discovered by pro some professor? The something... something to... worlds? I don't know, when... old something mists... There are... something that are different from the Pokemon that we are familiar with? <laughs> Everything's like cut out. Did Chief Peony lose this? You should go deliver it to him in the Max Lair. Alright, I guess we're heading to the Max Lair. This statue's still here. It's a statue of the King of Bountiful Harvest. A large crown it's got. All right, hello there, Auto. Now. Got a snowball. Alright. To the max later we go. Um, Peony, I think you lost a clue. Hey there, Chief. Thanks for stopping by. I'm finally getting a little quality time, uh, family time with my darling Nia. Hmm. I dropped some in the base camp. Is that really mine? I don't recall ever writing it. Hmm. Hang on. Isn't that the max layer there in the in that clue? What's happening? Huh? What happened? Creatures! A horde of creatures appeared inside the max layer, and we don't know if they're Pokemon. What? Has something caused alien beings to appear? And is this somehow connected to the Ultra Wormhole that opened up briefly in the sky? An Ultra Wormhole? Really? And Galar? Well, sounds like some new crazy things afoot. And you know what that means, Chief. Bet you a new expedition's approaching. And I know just what to call this one. Of course you do. They came from the Ultra Beyond! Huh. How do you like that one, Chief? Anyway, for now, there's your goal. Catch the Pokemon, or whatever, in the photo on that odd clue. Now get pumped for some more adventuring. Um. Oh, hey, Eric, you alright? Me, I'm carrying on like usual, I suppose. By the way, 
I picked this odd thing in the max layer. You can have it. So we got a red futuristic monocle. Don't worry. Go ahead and take it. It's not really my cup of tea anyway. So, I was once on this Dynamax adventure, and my teammate's Oranguru had the move Instruct. That move let it give the other Pokemon orders. It was a massive help. Good to know. We have Pokemon helping us out with our investigations too, you know. Hmm. Oh, you, I, I appreciate the help. I'm um, the hello. You're not ready yet for what I've got to offer. Try me again when you've got some more of these Dynamax adventures under your belt. Oh? That sounds a bit sinister. Would you like to embark upon a Dynamax adventure? I don't know. Um... Getting a phone call. There, it lasts. Hello? Hello, you there? This is Eric's Rotom phone, right? Yeah. Brilliant! I asked Hop for your number. I'm glad he didn't pull anything funny, like giving me the wrong one. Oh, sorry. Guess I should have said who was calling you, eh? It's me, Leon. Sorry if I took you aback. But rest assured, there can only be a pretty good reason for me to call you out of the blue like this. The former champion of Galar has a favor to ask of the current champion, and that's you. Come on over to Winden Stadium. I'll tell you all the details. I'll head that way myself now, and I swear I won't take any detours or get lost. Pretty sure I will get lost on the way. But yeah, I guess we are at some point going to be heading to Winden Stadium. Interesting. I'm not going to head there right now. But I'm guessing there's something interesting going on there. That being said, I think Sonya's waiting for us. So her yamp, I guess, has gotten friendly with the Beldum. Just a little dog bowl. Hello there. Eric, how's it going gathering evidence? Uh, about that evidence. Want to check your progress? Let's see. Data for the Iron Wheel Pokemon is at 100%. Data for the Cavern Pokemon is at 100%. Data for the Grassland Pokemon is at 100%. You've gathered 100% of the data you need to track the Iron Wheel Pokemon. 100% of the data needed to gather um, to track the cavern Pokemon. You gather the 100% of the data needed to track the grassland Pokemon. This should be enough data for us to pin down where those legendary Pokemon live. So if I feed all this data into my trusty Pokemon Finder, searching for energy signatures, and it's found matching Pokemon. The Iron Wheel Pokemon can be found at the Frigid Sea. The Cavern Pokemon can be found in the Lakeside Cave. The Grassland Pokemon can be found in the Giant's Bed. You finally get to come face to face with the legendary Pokemon we've been searching for. Best of luck. Alright, so we gotta go prove the legends are true by finding the legendary Pokemon. Alright, so we got our work cut out for us, don't we? Anything in here? Oh yeah, this is the kid who, uh, can have your Pokemon not follow you or, or follow you. Alright. Well, you know what? We'll continue to live here on the Crown Tundra, even if the king is no longer with us. I mean, okay. Feels so cute. That being said, I guess next time we will, I guess, search for those legends and maybe take on a, a Dynamax adventure. But apparently, I guess there's Ultra Beast there. Interesting. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time when we continue our adventure here on the Crown Tundra. Goodbye.